Hi everyone. I just wanted to do kind of like a review on the tractor supply trailers. They're the carry on trailers. That's the brand of them. Here you go, right here. You carry on. And I just wanted to kind of go over the things that uh, you normally end up with when you buy them. This is the five and a half by 10 foot trailer and there was some some issues like there was three in the lot and this one had the least amount of blemishes and what I mean by blemishes I mean stuff like here, I'll come up here I already kind of fixed it but there is there was a scuff here and it looks like it hit concrete there was some like I don't know concrete residue and stuff like that but the tongue wasn't bent at all. It was just scuffed and the paint was ripped off. So I repainted it with, unfortunately, I only had matte black. But it's like a Rust-Oleum Rust Converter, but it was black. So I'm like, perfect. I'll just throw that on. Um, and right here, the wire was uh, pinched. It looks like it got pinched under here or something. So I had to rerun that. Unfortunately, they do have these connectors, which... I am not a fan of but eventually I can change them out down the road and I know it just keeps on going this was hit by something I'm assuming during their shipping process I think they stack these up they try to have the wheels off and they're all stacked up on top of each other so I get it taking them apart this probably happened um, it's not a big deal like I said this one was the best out of the three in the lot the welds on here if that one's good but you come over here to like this one like it's not so good um there's some more areas i can show you uh, that's okay i mean i'm not a professional welder myself but i can do better welds than that so and then this bar all three of them were like this so i don't know if it was done like this purposely where the bar the crossbar here was tipped purposely and then welded like that it didn't make sense to me but they were all like that and other than that everything else is fine they don't it doesn't have led lights i changed the bulbs inside of these units to led which is pretty cheap to do anyways the deck is pretty nice um they did use nails and that went into the metal on the bottom um i'm assuming they did that with an air uh a nail gun I believe they are stainless steel nails so they should last like I said tractor supply I mean overall it's a good trailer right now where I am anyways um, they are a decent price for let me see it was $22.99 I believe which is $2,300 um, if you do their credit card with them, it would be 10% off of that. I never had a credit card with them, so I'm like, you know what? It's a big, larger purchase. I'll fill out for the credit card, get the 10% off. So, I got the 10% off on top of that. I put the cost on the credit card too, which gives me an extra 5% back. When I get the bill, I'll just pay it off. Um... And then that'll be that. So I'll have another 5% off on that. So it's like 15% off. So I got it for, I think just a hair over 2000. And that's not including the 5% off. The 5% off I get back in in-store purchases, which is fine. I buy stuff there anyway, especially if, you know, you're gonna be buying, buying dog food, dog treats, toys, stuff like that. It works out. Um, but yeah, this is, the five and a half by ten foot trailer. The gate, like when it's empty, I would like to lay it down. And I laid it down for the ride home. And I'll show you what happened. So when I laid it down for the ride home, these pins here pushed into the wood, which is no big deal. I'm actually thinking about notching out the wood so it can actually hold in there. Um, I've heard from several people that there's another spot over there. I've heard from the other 
So I've actually heard from several people that keeping this gate down lowers your gas mileage. It like saves a lot on your gas mileage. Even though this is, you know, a, a gate or, or a, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Even though it's like a screen, it just goes through. Um, it still has a lot of resistance. This is just from what I've heard. I've never really experienced it. I had it laying down for my trip home. And I didn't notice any difference in gas mileage. Um, but it's also empty. so, <laughs> And I didn't have to hold that far to go. And I didn't notice any difference. Obviously loaded. And with that up, I'm sure it's going to make a big difference. So some of the reasons I got the trailer is, yes, I have a truck. But I wanted something a little bit bigger. Actually, I was originally going to get a 16-foot trailer, which is really big. And, well, for me anyways. Um, for my daughter's go-kart and my um, quad, I have a, a two-up quad, so it's longer. It's like eight and a, or seven and a half feet, so it's, it's pretty long. And then my daughter's go-kart is like seven foot ten inches from wheel to wheel and I needed something that would be able to fit them both um, obviously this won't fit them both I needed a 16 foot trailer sorry about that I needed a 16 foot trailer in order to fit them both front to back um, so one reason I went with a smaller trailer than I was going to get is because The place I'm going to and planning on traveling um, to ride the equipment, my I would actually have to register and ensure my daughter's quad or go kart, which I don't think can be done. If it can be done, let me know in the comments. I'm in New York, so that would be awesome if you can tell me. Um, but it doesn't really matter. And then I'm like thinking, if I do want to carry them both, all I have to do is change out the jack here if i change out the jack then i'll be able to have either my daughter's go-kart preferably my daughter's go-kart in the back of the truck and then i could just a look or sh take off this jack and put a side jack on that can be flipped up out of the way because in order to have it in my truck i have a short bed it's only six and a half feet long so i have to have my tailgate down um Yes, I know that does limit the amount I can turn to with the sides and stuff, but obviously I can be careful of that. But with keeping the tailgate down, uh, I'll be able to put either my quad or go -kart or, or my daughter's go kart up in the bed of the truck. Um, the type of jack I'm gonna get is I think it's a uh, Harbor Freight has one. It is a weld on pipe, so the, it's like a cut pipe comes out this way the round part is here you weld that on and the jack goes onto that and it has a pin that goes in it um it's really cheap too it's like i might be wrong i might be completely butchering this but i thought it was only like 25 bucks even if it's 40 bucks that's not bad at all for a decent jack that you can put on there permanently but not permanent if you know what i mean by you take out the pin the whole jack can come off or you can flip it up put the pin in and it's still out of the way because it's running along the pipe uh the the tongue here another couple upgrades i want to do uh eventually i'm going to put a box on the front here um for storage and stuff and for straps um wheel chucks stuff like that also i'm going to be putting bearing buddies on which for especially for long trips is it's a no-brainer you need to do that i i I, in my mind, in my opinion, that should be done. Um, just because it's... You don't have to worry about it so much. Um, you just check them every once in a while, depending on how much you travel. Pump some grease in there, and it lasts a lot longer, too. So it shortens down your maintenance time on your bearings. Um, obviously, always check your bearings. Always, always, always. What else was I was going to do? Oh, I want to build sides on the inside. So... Just so if I'm hauling smaller stuff, more compact stuff, or not compact, I don't know why I'm saying that. But if I want to load smaller stuff, there's no risk of that, any of that type of stuff falling out. And 
yeah other than that that's pretty much it i'll try to post some videos of the upgrades i do with the front jack the bearing buddies i don't think that's needed everybody knows about no well, most people know about them and uh i'm sure there's plenty of videos on them so people have a reference also another thing i want to do is um yes it's pressure treated decking and i'm sure it'll last forever but i'm still going to go through and put wood sealer all over it make sure it's last as long as it can make it look as nice as it can for a long time because i'm not sure if i'm going to keep this trailer and if i want to resell it i want to make sure it's still in great condition that way i can not only you know get the best return on it and if i need to get another trailer i'll have the funds to do that um but also it's just good maintenance it's on the road um i just want to make sure it's in good condition nobody questions anything and it's safe all right so i just wanted to do a conclusion not in you know widescreen so you can actually see the size of this it's not gigantic um but it's 10 feet long it doesn't even look like it's 10 feet long and i noticed that in the uh, wide angle view but here it is without the wide angle view and in conclusion that uh this is the tractor supply five and a half by 10 foot trailer and it's really cheap um a hair over two grand and i think that's pretty cheap for a new trailer but definitely look at it there's imperfections there's you know some damage here and there during shipping they will work with you if there is damage um i didn't even notice um the one here um but it is what it is it's fine i'm not too worried about it i got it for a decent price and i'll just fix it at some point it's not going to cost me that much to fix it um so in conclusion i, I mean I, well also i was looking at a much larger trailer like i said earlier i was looking at a 16 foot trailer and i was going to spend almost five thousand dollars on that thing um and yes i had a warranty with it yes it was it, it had a you know four wheels double axle all that but I, come when it came down to it i don't think i need it if i do then i'll sell this one and get that but i'll see how it goes but as far as tractor supply goes they're pretty decent trailers they're carry-on they're a name brand yes they're not the best brand they're not the highest brand but they're also not the lowest brand um, they're actually a name brand trailer, um, and there are some imperfections. So make sure you inspect them first before buying it. And other than that, Harbor Freight is going to be my friend here with a lot of this stuff that I want to upgrade on it, because Harbor Freight actually has a lot of um, accessories and add-ons that you can do to these trailers for really cheap compared to anywhere else. You just got to be careful what you're getting. Um, but I, from what I've noticed, trailer stuff was really good on at Harbor Freight um like the with as far as the add-ons the wenches I actually just bought a new wench for my quad um the 3500 pound one and I'll be installing that on my uh um CF moto um I have an older 2016 CF moto 800 which I totally got screwed on but maybe I'll do another video on that <laughs> other than that guys hope hopefully this uh was informative to people if you're looking for a trailer um this is what i went with and it was kind of like a spur of the moment thing um my daughter literally waited in the truck and i went in and bought it and i wasn't even planning on buying it i was looking at bolts um to replace certain bolts on the cf moto uh eight that quad that i have and i'm like you know what, what trailers do you have? What, what's the biggest one? And this was the biggest one that they had in my area. Um, like I said, I was gonna go bigger, but it was there, kind of a spur of the moment. The price was right, 10% off as well, an extra five. Um, so, couldn't go wrong in my eyes. Thanks for watching. Um, let me know if there's anything I could do better. I'm just trying to do, you know, 
bring in people information. I watch YouTube videos all the time to get information on products and stuff like that. And I just wanted to put it out there. All right. Thanks.